in, but oh my god. My hands are shaking. Oh okay. Gatsby was being so snuggly, so I just wanted to hang out with him. So we just snuggled in bed for a little bit and I just honestly scrolled <laughs> social media. Um but welcome back to another vlog. I didn't really talk to the camera last night because um I just wanted to relax last night, but I still like wanted to get some footage, so um, I just filmed like a few clips of our evening, but um, it's going to be a really fun weekend. Oh, there's not a lot left of this. Let's see if I can... Let's see if that's enough. Yeah, I know. I know you want to go outside. Um, let's see how this tastes. Yeah, that's going to need some more. Whole Foods does not sell that Chobani creamer, which is, this one is our absolute favorite. It's so good, but Whole Foods doesn't sell it. And we went to Whole Foods yesterday to get some, whoa. Hey. You wanna come up here? Will that make you feel better? We went to Whole Foods yesterday to get a few groceries just for the weekend, um, just to like save some money. We're just trying to like cook more on the weekends. And they don't have the Giovanni creamer, so we got this one. It's just their, um, let's not choke and die on this, huh? It's their 365 vanilla creamer, just the Whole Foods brand. It's not bad. Here, why don't you play with this? This is much less dangerous for you. That, see? Sometimes having a cat is like having a toddler. Look at this. We're just gonna try this out and see if it's any good. I don't know. It still has thing on it. But we have a really fun weekend planned, so I thought I would film. We have a birthday party today for um, my friend Abby Weinstein's sister-in-law. She's having like a pool party, and she's the one, the sister-in-law hosted the book club that I went to in, was that June or July? June. Um, and she's hosting another one actually this coming week that I'm going to as well. So um, she'll be there, and I'm really excited because, um, I had so much fun at that book club, so I'm really excited to go to this pool party. And I remember her talking about it at the book club, and I remember thinking, that's so far away. <laughs> and here we are, it's already here, it's crazy. <clears throat> so we have that today, and I'm excited for it. Okay, let's just taste test this. That's better. Oh, that creamer is really good. I bet it has a bunch of weird stuff in it though, let's see. Yeah, natural flavors. <laughs> oh well. Um, and then this cup I got is from Amazon. It's so cute, and I love how much fits in it. <laughs> I love that I can get twice as much coffee in it. Tomorrow we have um, we're going to an Astros game for my stepsister's boyfriend's birthday. So we have that tomorrow. So it should be a fun weekend. So I thought I would pick up a camera. Um, and then last night we just had a chill night at home and Alex cooked a steak dinner, got me some flowers because I found out on Thursday that I got promoted at work. So I'm super excited about it. And I've been working really, really, really hard for this promotion for a long time. So I'm excited and we just kind of celebrated the two of us last night and it was really sweet. So yeah, that's what's going on this weekend. I hear Alex getting up, I hear him walking around up there. I'm gonna whip up some breakfast really quick. I'm just gonna have something small, quick and easy. I don't wanna eat too much because I think we're gonna be eating a lot um, for lunch. And then, not that I have to like eat less at breakfast because I'm eating a big lunch, I don't think that way. I just wanna save my appetite, honestly, because I'm excited. We're having, I think, pulled pork sandwiches. That sounds so good and I just wanna save my appetite. I don't wanna be hungry. And then, um, Tonight we're having frozen pizza, so I just know I'm gonna like carb load the rest of the day, so I just wanna like save room for that stuff. So I think I'll just have like a quick, simple, maybe like cottage cheese and fruit this morning. That honestly sounds really good with some honey. And anyways, I gotta go, because I'm gonna take Mr. Man out before he causes a ruckus. <laughs> Look at his little ears on the camera. You're so cute. I love you so much. I love you. I need to schedule his bed appointment. Yeah, vet appointment. We gotta schedule that.
been reading a new book. It's called Heartless Hunter by, <clears throat> who is it by? I'm really bad with author names. It's really not good. Um, Heartless Hunter, The Crimson Moth by Kristen, ooh, I'm gonna butcher this last name, Kicciarelli? I think it's Cicciarelli. <laughs> I don't know, um, but Heartless Hunter, it's a fantasy book and it's so good, you guys. I'm only, I think I'm 25% of the way through and I'm on chapter 13. I cannot put this book down, it's so good. I was reading it in the bath last night and I literally was reading until the bath water was cold and I hate cold bath water, so that's saying something. <laughs> but it's a fantasy book and it's like witches, blood magic, enemies to lovers, Kind of some Bridgerton vibes, but like if you add in like violence and murder and magic to it, and I'm just loving it. The main character is like a vigilante, like it's just really freaking good. Um, I'm like eating it up. I'm so excited about it. Carter Sullivan here on YouTube, um, I saw her posting about it. She talked about it in one of her vlogs, and then she posted on her Instagram story that it was the best fantasy book she's read this year. And she reads a lot of books, so like that's high praise coming from her. So I was so excited to read it because I just feel like I've been like a fantasy rut. Like I've been craving a fantasy book. I sit and read this for a little bit. Okay, I'm getting ready. I think this is what I'm going to wear. I just have this blue swimsuit from Abercrombie. It's like a bandeau, which I really like. Or this isn't a bandeau because it has straps. You know what I mean. And then it's like some high-waisted bottoms and I just put on this tube top. I love the look of the tube top with a swimsuit. I think it's so cute. And I just curled my hair just a little bit. I know it's kind of extra because it's obviously a pool party, but um, it just, my hair was just really like weird this morning. It just wasn't quite straight. It wasn't wavy. It just was like really kind of like doing random things. It just didn't look like it had any purpose. So I did just a really loose curl and my hair takes like literally 10 minutes to curl if that, because I don't have that much hair. It kind of looks like I have a lot of hair, but I really don't. It's very fine and thin so I don't even have to section it off or anything when I curl it so I just took the curling iron to it and did kind of like I started a lot lower than I usually do so it's a little bit more beachy like I didn't start up at the top of my head I started like right here when I was wrapping the curls and I didn't hold them as long so they're just a little bit more like loose and I'll brush them out here in a second too but I just wanted something so that my hair has just like at least something presentable going on Obviously, it'll probably just end up going up, but whatever. And then, I haven't decided what I want to do for makeup yet. I know I don't want to wear a lot, um, because obviously, again, it's a pool party, and we're going to be outside, and it's like 200 million degrees outside, so I think I'm obviously definitely going to do some SPF. I think I will do, oh my gosh, my face is so dry. I'm going to start, I may like double up on the SPF. I'm going to start with this first day beauty. Um, Ultra Repair Face Moisturizer with Sunscreen. This is SPF 30. And it just looks like this. It's just white. And I'm just gonna put this on as like a base layer and it's also a moisturizer. So it'll just help my skin just feel a little bit more hydrated because I'm feeling very dry right now. I'm listening to Post Malone's new album, The Country Album. I'm obsessed with this Post Malone Country era. Like, I'm so excited about it. It's so good. I like, and I think I've talked about this kind of before. I'm like, I'm a country fan. I think I, I like country music. Not all country music. I don't really love like mainstream, like Luke Bryan. Like, I don't know. I think some of that was like annoying to me, but I love like Zach Bryan. I love Morgan Wallen. I love um, Post Malone now. I love Tim McGraw. I love like 90s country. I just think it's so... Um, nostalgic to me and it reminds me of college too because I went to college at Texas a and and it's just like very country country there so it just is like I don't know brings me back so I love country and I love this post Malone country era okay I'm now going in with the CeraVe hydrating mineral sunscreen which is a SPF 30 also so I'm just kind of layering the SPF and this one is tinted so it gives just a little bit of coverage or it at least like evens out my skin tone which is nice and actually I feel like it's going on a lot smoother than usual because I have that moisturizer on underneath do a little bit of blush I end up putting on just a little bit of mascara and it's not waterproof <laughs> I don't like waterproof mascara it's like it just feels so crusty to me 
and it's also so hard to get off at the end of the day. So I just did like a little bit of mascara, but only on my top lashes. So if I get some underneath, I can just wipe it off. I'm not wearing concealer or anything, so I can easily just wipe it if needed. But I just felt like it looked like a naked mole rat without <laughs> mascara. But I think we're gonna stop and grab some electrolytes on the way there. And also I wanna pick up a little gift for her so we don't show up empty handed. And then we'll be on our way to Abbey and Bear. So currently we are on time, which is good. Okay, here's the full outfit so you guys can see it better. And then I brought, I'm just gonna bring this little like tote bag thing. And I think I'm gonna grab our cooler. We brought some drinks, it's BYOB, so we brought a few drinks. And then bring our pool towels. What else do we need? Pool towels. I'm gonna bring our koozie things. Anyway, I'm just like talking out loud, but this is the outfit. This two top is from Amazon. Like I said, the uh, swimsuit is Abercrombie, shorts are also Abercrombie and I'll just wear like some flip-flops or something. We just got home from, we didn't just get home. We've been home for like, what time is it? We've been home for like an hour and a half. Um, but we got home from the pool party. It was so much fun. I didn't get a ton of clips just cause like I didn't want to whip the camera out in front of everyone's faces <laughs> and like bother everybody. So I just kind of like chilled and just got a couple of clips, but it was a lot of fun. They had this massive water slide and Alex must have gone down that thing like 400 times. He was obsessed with it. I went down it once and once was enough for me cause <laughs> I got so much water in my eyes and I was like, okay, I'm good, but it was a lot of fun. Um, we played like beer pong, which I haven't played in years. And we had some really good pulled pork sliders. They were amazing. We did cake and everything. So that was really fun. Um, and then we drove back with Abby and Griffin and headed home. We got Chick-fil-A on the way home. I got a milkshake and fries and it was amazing. And then we had planned to make frozen pizzas tonight for dinner. And Alex did go ahead and make them. They're actually like downstairs, but I am like full from that milkshake. As we got home, we played outside with Gatsby for a little bit. And then I took a shower. I did some laundry, as you guys saw. I'm trying to get ahead of stuff for tomorrow because we have another busy day tomorrow. We're going to the Astros game and we're going to lunch before the Astros game. And after the Astros game, we're going to visit Alex's grandmother, which is like a 45 minute drive because she's um, I don't know how much I've really talked about this on the vlog, but Alex's grandmother, long story short, had a stroke um, about uh, six weeks ago, seven weeks ago. It was like the night of the hurricane. She had a stroke and since then has been like pretty much incapacitated. So it's been this horrible journey of like moving her from place to place, trying to figure out like a path forward because um, after the stroke, like we didn't really know how severe it was and all this stuff and she was in the hospital in the ICU for about a week and then she was transferred to the neuro floor where they analyzed her brain a little bit more and determined that she actually had two strokes and that one of them was extremely severe and left her like she will never walk again because so she's now at home and she has I think a 24-hour nurse rotation with her kind of like in-home hospice care so anyways we're going to visit her tomorrow and we're gonna bring Alex's grandpa some food because he's like on his own completely. He's, she did all the cooking and cleaning. So he's like learning how to do all that right now. And I think he's had Subway like every single day for the past month. So we're gonna bring him something to eat. Um, so that'll be after the game. So we have a long day and that's like an hour drive and then an hour back. So, and then we also have to of course do our Sunday reset and stuff. So, um, yeah, I just have like so much so I'm trying to get my laundry done so that I at least don't have to worry about that tomorrow and then I need to edit a YouTube video I'm gonna try to do that right now and I also have some short form content to edit but it could really be pushed to Monday if absolutely necessary I just really want to go into the week with everything ready to go you know and then um, I also need to make my meal prep which could be done Monday because I'm probably gonna work from home on Monday and I could probably meal prep on my lunch break, but 
again it would be nice to have it all done so we'll see this vlog has been a lot of just me talking to the camera and not like showing stuff but sometimes that's just how it is like i don't know it's just kind of been crazy around here lately i feel like there's just there's so much going on we have so many plans and they're all like really fun plans and like stuff that we want to do like we're like today was so much fun i had been looking forward to today for a while and like um i'm looking forward to tomorrow too like i love going to astros games i haven't seen my stepsister and her boyfriend in a long time and like we're really close so i miss them a lot um but it's for someone who's like more introverted it's just like a lot socially and this summer has been such a challenge for me socially like in a good way i definitely feel like i've grown um and i've become more confident i've become i feel a little bit less social anxiety like i noticed that today i wasn't anxious at all about going to this party i was actually excited um so that was really cool so i think it's definitely helping but i feel just really tired and drained and i just am craving a day of doing nothing anyways just keeping it real like i said it's all stuff that i want to do it's just like a lot but anyways so i'm gonna edit this youtube video right now I'm, i've been watching sex in the city and I like watched it growing up intermittently. I've never watched it like chronologically, but my mom used to watch it. I've been like loving it because it's just so like girly and fun and just like, I don't know, it's just easy to have on in the background. But like, I honestly can't stand Carrie. Like, I think she's just so self sabotaging and selfish and like just so dumb. Like, the episode, I just watched the episode where like she has to like buy her apartment that she's been renting and she has no money. And her friends are like, wait, why do you have no money? Like, doesn't the column pay you money? And she's like, yeah. She says she spent like $40,000 on shoes. I'm like, keeps just like going back to Big and like, Big is such an idiot. Like Aiden was such a perfect guy. Like, I don't know. If she wasn't just so focused on Big, she would have been so happy with Aiden, but she just wouldn't let herself be happy because she's just so, everything in her life revolves around Big and Big is like the biggest loser ever. Like he's so insufferable. I can't stand him. And I can't stand Carrie by like extension of Big because she just like everything she does revolves around him. It's just ridiculous. Anyways, I'm gonna edit this YouTube video and I'm gonna chug some water because I'm super dehydrated. I had, I didn't drink that much today. I think I had like two seltzers, but I had like cake, I had pulled pork, I had a bunch of bread, I had um, saltine, or not saltines, Cheez Its. And yeah, I just feel like I've been stuffing my face all day. So, and I had a milkshake. So I feel like I need to chug some water or I'm gonna wake up so puffy tomorrow. So, I'm gonna chug some water and edit this YouTube video and hopefully finish my laundry and get a good night's sleep. I would love to wake up early tomorrow if possible so I can get a head start on everything and also just have time to myself before the day starts. Guys, we're heading to the Astros game. I'm trying to get away with wearing as little clothes as possible because it's Four million degrees outside and it's 1 p.m. so it's gonna be pretty miserable there. So I have these Abercrombie shorts on, this tube top which I actually wore yesterday, and then my little belt bag, my Reeboks, and an Astros hat. And we're running late, of course, so I gotta go. we just got back from the game and then we also went and visited Alex's grandmother for a couple of hours. We just got home, it's about seven o'clock. Um, we've been out since, I think we left the house at 11.30, so we've been out for like almost eight hours. Oh, yeah, I see, my calm here. The buddy wants mommy's attention. Anyways, I'm exhausted. I had a good time this weekend, like it was a really fun time, both the game and the pool party yesterday. We had so much fun, but just so drained socially. I feel like if somebody tried to talk to me right now, it would be a disaster. I would not even know how to speak to human beings. So I'm going to take a shower. We picked up um, a sandwich for ourselves on the way home and then I'm gonna just rot. I just have to rot and I honestly still have so much to do. I have editing I need to do, some editing, and then I need to do um, my meal prep, which I think I'm just gonna have to postpone until tomorrow. Um, yeah, honey. I'm going to 
go take a shower. I think I'm gonna go ahead and close off the vlog just because I really don't have it in me to like film anything else this weekend. I'm so tired, but um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching.